my name is Eli, and this is my dad, Leonard. And this is the Leonard and Eli show. Daddy, can you please not see that? And we're trying to draw a salamander. We have a book for the practice drawing animals, but he doesn't have all the animals. You want to show him the book? Yeah. Okay. Look, everyone. There's the cover of the book. Eli got it today. Wildlife Around Us, Field Guide and Drawing Book, Volume 1. <laughs> Look, today we're drawing the red salamander. It's He's a fire one. It can go in the fire. It won't die in the fire. Really? Yeah. Wow. There's a lot of types. Is there even a water type? Th is it lives this in caves. The water type? Yeah, lives wa in caves? water types live in caves. Where does the cave type live? Cave type. Mm -hmm. they, they only live under rocks. We're under rocks? Okay. So we're doing the fire red salamander, and here's the instructions on how to draw it. <laughs> you do a squiggly line, then two squiggly lines, then a head, and then anyway, so go step one, two, three, four, five, and then you color it. So oh. Eli, go ahead. So I'm going to draw it, but I have to trace it. He's gonna, yeah, he's going to trace but it. But we only have one, Daddy. That's okay. You only need one. So so how are you going to do it? Are you going to trace like that one first yeah, and then yeah. move this down over that? Okay, so here we go. Wait a minute. I'm going to line it all up. Okay. Okay. All right. Go, big, big boy. Let's show our viewers what you did. Yeah, I try. I can't. So you see the tracing out. paper? You see the first party traced? That looks like a squiggly little line to you, but to me, it looks like a red fire salamander. Yeah, but we need to color it, Daddy. Yeah, now we got to do uh, that bottom line there, right? Yeah. Okay, starting to look like a salamander. Now we go to three, right? Yeah, and I put it over there. Oh, well, I already know how to draw the okay, eyes. You gotta put the eyes and the legs. Eye. That's good. All right. All right, we're moving on. We're getting there. Whoa, salamander. Okay. Whoa. There's a lot of types of salamanders. Yeah, now, nine now, types. This on this one, Eli. What what are we gonna draw on this one? Ooh, their feet. Yeah, just. Their, I mean, their fingers, not feet. That's what we're right. Draw. Just their. And look, draw that one, and then let me move that one to the right place. Okay. Right. Draw all the little polka dots. What? Yep. He's drawing all the polka dots on the slimy salamanders back, and I think those polka dots are what help it. So no, that's front. that's for camouflaging them. Yeah, that's right. They're not dots, they're circles. See that draw circles. Draw circles. Right. See, that's what they are. Yes. See, you erase it. Stay on the line. He got off the line, can you believe it? Everyone messes up. Hey, everybody messes up, don't they? As long, as long as they learn from their mess ups, huh? Stay on that line. Well, God doesn't make any mess, up, mess um, ups. You're right. Okay, keep going. You've got all the rest of to do. You're not finished. And then we're going to show it to you. Ta da! No, you're done. You're done. There you have it, everybody. A red. Salamander. So let's let's read some facts about the salamander, okay? Yeah. Do read. You read. No, you read. This salamander has not lungs. Lungs. Wow. <gasps> yeah, because 
Okay. Then Just read it. It can be orange, yeah, I already knew. Brown to a bright. Bright red color and the bold. Mm hmm Bolder. Bolder. It gets the darker it's spots become. Good job. Way to go. Yeah. All right. The red salamander is a nocturnal amphibian. You know what that means? That's tricky. It, nocturnal means it comes out at nighttime, and amphibian means it lives on land and water. Yeah, because they also need water. They, they, they get born on the water. Then when they grow bigger, they can get on the land. When Good. they're a baby, they can, cannot get on the land. Right. Good job. Which means most of its waking hours are at night. During the day, it can be found tucked away under rocks, logs, leaf litter, or other coverings. The red salamander is one of the lungless salamanders. It absorbs oxygen from the air and water through its skin. That is wow. awesome. In the lining of its mouth. Its order is the caudata, Ooh. and it's the family is the plethodontidae. Plethodontidae. Its diet is insects, spiders, worms, and smaller salamanders. Whoa. If they eat all the smaller salamanders, how do you get the big salamanders? Huh? But these big salamanders, they live in the rainforest. Yeah, they do? Yeah. You know, but oh. where, the other one lives in the like forest. Okay. They're four to six inches long. They, their habitat is small streams and moist woodlands environments. Both aquatic and terrestrial. So look, in the United States, they live, you see, hey everybody. <laughs> so they're on the East Coast. They don't have salamanders on the west coast. Ooh, that's Ooh, cool. We only have them on the east coast in Texas, too. Cool. That's good. There you go.